Welcome to Elliott House for the 2020 Harvard graduation. My name is Doug Melton. I'm the faculty dean here at Elliott House with my wife, Gail O'Keefe, and we're glad to see you all as it were on videotape. This is the first ever Zoom or videotape graduation, and so that's another first you can add to your list of life accomplishments. Ordinarily, Gail and I are looking out over the courtyard where there are grandparents, parents, siblings, and friends who are here to celebrate with you this significant accomplishment. And uh, they have supported you in ways you probably know and don't know. And so we're glad that some of them will be watching today to hear your name read as you graduate. After today, you'll be counted among a very special or distinguished group, a group of Harvard graduates. That's a, a graduation from a university many consider to be one of the top universities in the world and your accomplishments here are quite significant. Gail and I congratulate you on what you've done and we're glad to join you for this day of celebration. Dear class of 2020, as we try to make the best out of what is a lousy situation, we're thinking of next year's celebration as our silver lining, our chance to reconnect with you in person after being a year off campus. The pageantry and revelry of Harvard will be even sweeter for the time spent waiting for your 2020 live commencement. Typically, commencement is a time of excess and exhaustion. Quite honestly, that sometimes also comes with regrets. This year, the revelry in excess is postponed, and instead, your class has a few weeks of quiet introspection, time to reflect on where you're going and what you'll do with your life. When you first came to campus, everyone told you that a liberal arts education was the key to opening doors. No one anticipated how that would manifest in the postgraduate world you're now entering. Some of, the, some of you will continue on a path you began four years ago in Harvard Yard. Some of you were still puzzling out the next steps when we had to abruptly leave in March. Now everyone's plans are altered, some much more so than others. As you formulate or reformulate your plans, I hope you will consider the chaos of COVID-19 as a pivot point, a vast opportunity to dive into an altered economy, a crippled political system, a noble but strained medical field. Some of you are taking a good few weeks of rest before tackling the big questions of your next step. Take some time to think deeply. Here the pandemic is a gift, a few more weeks of introspection before the world revs up to speed again. I don't pretend to know how this event will unfold, but it seems clear we need your nimble, well-educated, powerful minds to bring about a radical recovery. Not a return to our past normal, our reliance on fossil fuel, unbridled material consumption, and a disregard for future generations. The time is yours for reimagining the non-adaptive systems that have failed us while holding on to the beneficial values and institutions that got us here. A few years ago, everyone was looking to be disruptive in the business world. Now, disruption surrounds us, have at it. You and your peers can provide a new paradigm, a novel path forward for a healthy physical and political environment. We want to take this opportunity to acknowledge the people who have helped you along the way of course, more, most importantly, your parents and family members who share your pride on this momentous achievement. We extend best wishes from everyone here at Elliott who are usually celebrating this occasion with you. Our resident tutors, Dean Andy Wright, Sue and Craig and the HUD staff, all the people who have lived with you, shared your triumphs and troubles and had your back these last three years. We send you off with confidence that you will make order of the chaos. And now, the names of the graduating class of Elliott House 2020. I'll now read the names of the students in alphabetical order. They've been invited to offer a sentence or two about what they remember from their four years here and what they're doing next. They'll be in alphabetical order, uh, beginning with Arnav Agrawal. 
Arnav concentrated in economics, and he enjoyed contributing to the economics of labor markets, working with Professor Oliver Hart. And he looks forward to spending the next few years understanding how diverse companies, different in color, shape, and form, coordinate economic activities. Abhishek Anand, joint concentrator in computer science and physics. He's proud of helping the Harvard machine intelligence community and their work on making machines machine learning accessible to the Harvard community. He's looking forward to exploring the frontiers of quantum computation in graduate school at Caltech. Sky Iraqi Russell, history of art and architecture. Barizi Arango. Barizi concentrated in art, film, and visual studies. Most proud of photography that she created and is looking forward to continuing her education at the MFA or with an MFA. Maria Urungo, Integrative Biology. Maria is most proud of the wonderful friendship she built here at Harvard and is looking forward to developing her art while pursuing her scientific interests. Sarah Ariton, Chemical and Physical Biology. Sarah is proud of the friendship she's made at Elliott as well as her research in biochemistry, both of which she will further explore. Adelaide Arhano, Environmental Science and Engineering. Adelaide is most proud of her personal growth over the last four years, and she looks forward to starting her career, a new career, and settling into a new city. Perry Aerosmith, History. Perry is proud of the lifelong friends he's made while he was at Harvard, specifically those who have lived with him in Elliott House. He's excited to return home to Hawaii, where he aims to become involved in public policy. Luisa Baez Vientos, Economics. Luisa's proudest achievement has been learning from those who see the world differently from her. She's looking forward to embracing change and not being afraid to take leaps of faith. Her time at Harvard taught her to always keep an open mind and stay in touch with the Harvard community. Catherine Benzen, Psychology. Her proudest moment is becoming the leader in three-point shots in the Ivy League basketball history. She won that award. Redwan Binrof, Chemistry and Physics. Redwan looks forward to attending medical school someday. Amy Donna Bittler, Engineering Sciences. She's most proud of receiving the Society of American Military Engineers Award for her academic achievements. She looks forward to working on projects that have an impact on environmental issues. Jeremiah Leo Blacklow, Slavic Languages and Literatures. His proudest achievement was performing Tchaikovsky's Violin Concerto with the Bach Society Orchestra, and he's looking forward to sharing music with our generation and those to come. James Tuso Blanchfield, Visual and Environmental Studies. James is looking forward to the opportunity to get involved in the film industry and help create people make their dreams a reality. Jacob Bowl, Applied Math. He's looking forward to moving to New York City. Constance Borganian. Joint Concentrator in Romance Languages and Literature and Studies of Women and Gender and Sexuality. One of Constance's proudest achievements from her time at Harvard is to have gotten better at empathy. Dominique Ashley Kuntav, Applied Math. Dominique is most pride, proud of placing third at U.S. Rugby's seven nationals at U.S.A. Rugby's Nationals in 2019, followed closely by winning the Rugby Nationals this past fall. She's looking forward to creating a community like the one she found here at Elliott. Colton Carpenter, Government. Colton's proud of the growth he felt as a person and a friend while he was here at Harvard. The people here, he says, helped shape him in ways he never imagined, and he's very grateful for that. He looks forward to law school 
and a path in public service. Mark David Chamberlain, applied math. Mark's proudest achievement is getting into Elliott, and he looks forward to not doing any more P sets. Dale, take some. Clarence Yong G. Chan, computer science. His proudest achievement from time at Harvard would have to be learning to finally overcome his introverted nature and finding confidence in and love for himself. These last four years have really been life-changing and he can't believe how much he's grown as a person. In the years ahead, he looks forward to tackling new challenges continuously improving and learning as he pursues his dreams. Also looks forward to seeing friends again, both fellow classmates and upperclassmen, catching up on the amazing things he's sure that they will have accomplished. Ziong Chen, his proudest achievement is his thesis and is looking forward to the end of Corona, starting his PhD in math and whatever else there is in life. Stephanie Wenli Chang, Neuroscience. Stephanie's proudest achievement was being able to revamp the annual night market event for Taiwanese Cultural Society during her presidency. She's looking forward to reuniting with Harvard friends after the pandemic is over and to remember the years here at Elliott. Sabrina Ann Sizzling Charon chemistry and physics. Though hard to quantify, her proudest achievement at Harvard has been learning how to not just handle, but appreciate life by treating herself and others with kindness and respect. She looks forward to continuing this journey and doing her part in the years ahead. Charles Chu, neuroscience. His proudest achievement is gaining a deep sense of growth both from intellectual pursuits as well as personal and social, from investing himself in meaningful relationships and communities. He's looking most forward to seeing what his peers do and decided to set their minds to and what goals they are able to achieve. Courtney L. Clark, Human Developmental and Regenerative Biology. She's proud of all the hard work she put in to balancing academics and athletics for four years and is looking forward to new experiences outside of her comfort zone and attending medical school in a couple of years. Christopher Topher Colby, Joint Concentrator, Music and Classics. Regina Marie Kusing, Psychology. Regina's most proud of the lasting connection she's made from our diverse community and is excited to learn use what she learned in the classroom and apply it to her new jobs and communities. Austin Wiley Dawson, Environmental Science and Public Policy. Andres de Loera Brust, Economics. He is proud of his economics thesis and looks forward to continuing down that path as a PhD student at Harvard. Simone Rene Drew, History and Science. Simone is proud of her senior thesis for which she received highest honors. She looks forward to becoming a fully independent adult and gaining clarity about her future career. Or Eisenberg, Math. Or's proudest achievement is developing as a person and he is most looking forward to continuing to do so. Stephen Gerard Eckert, Jr., Economics. Stephen's proudest achievement during his time at Harvard was organizing the Harvard Radcliffe Orchestra's performance of Mahler's Ninth Symphony this past fall, as it was dedicated to celebrating Diana Eck and Dorothy Austin's retirement as Lowell House faculty deans his aim to continue pushing through the tough circumstances and enjoying time with family. Stephen Espinoza, Economics. His proudest achievement from his time at Harvard was simply learning how to be an independent thinker. The kind of research and analytical thinking he learned through his four years at Harvard 
were very valuable and aimed to continue to develop these skills. Grace Curran Eisenbach, Engineering Sciences. Grace is proud of the opportunity she's had to help out other students, whether giving advice about a class, providing them with homemade cookies, or just listening. She looks forward to being a teacher and getting to share the excitement for learning that Harvard has given her. William Stanley Flanagan, Joint Concentration in Earth Planetary Science and Physics. Will was the HOCO chair and part of the class committee. Claire Parnell Flintoff, Slavic Languages and Literature. Claire is proud of the finally graduating nearly 10 years in the making. She looks forward to attending the National Film School in Lodz, Poland in the next year and to what, watching what her fellow classmates accomplish. Bella Elise Gantler, Sociology. Bella is proud to be one of the first board members for the BLK Capital Management Organization, a student-run long short investment fund. She's glad to live in Boston as a working professional, interestingly, with the same roommate she's had since freshman year. Alexander Daniel Gilo, Mechanical Engineering. Alexander's proud of learning how to be a friend and now is looking forward to learning how to be an adult. Nancy Jiha Ta, Psychology. Nancy is proud to have led one of the cutest clubs on campus, or so I've been told, Harvard College Children's Stories, and is incredibly excited to finally venture beyond the States so that she can try a bunch of different sweets from all over the world. Natalia Gonzalez, Philosophy. Natalia's proudest achievement is completing a philosophy thesis while in season for tennis and is looking forward to living in Spain. Nikit Reddy Garavaram, Joint Concentration, Molecular and Cellular Biology and Statistics. Nikit is glad to have finished his thesis and is looking forward to going to medical school. Hope Green, Visual and Environmental Studies. Hope is proud of completing her thesis film and she looks forward to her career in directing films. Brennan David Gregg, Applied Mathematics. Brennan is proud of how he prioritized his time, formed long, strong friendships, and giving himself the mental state space for introspection. And while the future is uncertain, he knows he won't be alone, and that's all that matters to him. Josh Grossman, Joint Concentrator in Earth and Planetary Science and East Asian Studies. Josh is proud of the friends he's made, the good times he's had, and also his thesis. He looks forward to reconnecting with his classmates and seeing more of the world. Amy Gu, Computer Science. Amy's most proud of managing and conducting Cliff Notes, her, her a cappella group. Lawrence Hadzu Gu, History. Lawrence is proud of his senior thesis on the history of Sino-Japanese relationships in the early Cold War. He's going to Harvard Law School this fall and can't wait to spend three more years at Harvard. Kieran Hampton, History and Literature. Ashley Lauren Harriot, Neuroscience. Ashley's proud of her work with the Key Latch Summer Program in Boston South End, where she dedicated her summers, two of her summers, to the children and families of Key Latch, Key Latch, and that was one of the best decisions she says she's made. Looking ahead, she wants to graduate from medical school and work in medically underserved communities. T.J. Hazen, Chemistry. T.J. is proud of making inspiring friends and achieving the goals that he set for himself, all while having fun at Harvard. In the short term, he's looking forward to starting medical school, and in the long term, he's excited about discovering new challenges. Julia Loretta Henry, Environmental Science and Engineering. Julia is looking forward to moving to Washington, D.C. and beginning a career in the renewable energy sector. 
Terza Anne Marie Hill, Neuroscience. One of Terza's proudest achievements from her time at Harvard was having grown artistically, intellectually, and personally, and having inspired and empowered others to do the same. Jacqueline Jihee Ho, Physics. Jacqueline's proud, but most importantly, extremely grateful for her time as production manager of the Bach Society Orchestra. It was an incredible honor for her to lead the organization that was an integral part of her college experience and watch as new members found a home in the orchestra. In the years ahead, she's excited to take a deep dive in her fascination with physics and pursue a PhD. Taras Halavako, Applied Math. His proudest achievement from his time here was writing his senior thesis on different types of uncertainty and deep learning while completing a master's in applied math. In the years ahead, he looks forward to exploring meaningful applications of advanced analytics and software. Message Martian, Marchin Holobiec, Statistics. He's most proud of making the right decision to take time off from Harvard, and when he returned, he made great use of the resources here and make, made some amazing new friends. He's most looking forward to working on social impact initiatives and staying in touch with the Elliott community. Michael Robert Horton, Computer Science. His proudest achievement is managing the Harvard Glee Club. Next, he wants to learn how to cook. Daryl Wong, Electrical Engineering. Daryl was able to work with and make an impact on the lives of elementary, middle, and high school students through various clubs while he was here at Harvard. He's looking forward to the class of 2020 reunions, all of them, because he can't wait to see his friends again. Dong Ji Her, Neuroscience. Dong is proud of his senior thesis that he spent one and a half years working on, and he looks forward to going to medical school and helping the lives of as many people as possible. Chimoge Chijoke Ibe Nehuku, English. His proudest achievement from his time at Harvard is getting honors on his senior thesis. In the years ahead, he's looking forward to doing more writing. Kelsey Seiko Ishikawa, Joint Concentrator in Neurobiology and Philosophy. Kelsey is proud of doing interdisciplinary research that spanned and integrated neuroscience, history, and philosophy, as well as the social sciences. She's excited to continue learning and taking action on issues that she cares about. Alexia Ann Ildefonso, History of Science. Alexia is proud of the way she served the community as a member of the Crimson EMS, and she looks forward to becoming a teacher and sharing her love of learning. Rachel Janfanza, Government. Her proudest achievement from Harvard, from her time at Harvard, were the amazing relationships she built and her, the fascinating conversations and debates she shared with friends, also while writing her senior thesis in the government department. She's looking forward to a career in political journalism in DC. Rajiv Jha, Engineering Science. Rajiv is proud of finding several best friends and feeling complete with the people and community around him. He looked forward to continuing his academic journey by pursuing an MD PhD at Harvard Medical School. Didi Rachel Zhang, Psychology. She's most grateful and proud of being part of the Harvard Ballet Company and dancing for all four years of her college career. She's excited about the adventures to come, but also looking forward to reunions back at Harvard. Jasper Johnston, Special Concentration in Strategic Social Behavior. Jasper's proud of the way he's grown as a person and a learner while remaining true to himself and forging a unique academic path here. He looks forward to seeing the amazing impact of his classmates and expects them to have an impact on the world. Kira P. Jones, Joint Concentrator in Linguistics and Germanic Languages and Literatures. Her proudest achievement has been the amazing friendships she has made here and she looks forward to seeing everyone again next year for the in-person graduation. K. 
Kevin Kearns, philosophy. Kevin's proudest achievement at Harvard was serving as the music director for the world touring a cappella group, the Den and Tonics. In the coming years, he looks forward to continuing to make friendships as meaningful as the ones he's made while here at Harvard. Matthew Keating, government. Matthew's proud of the fantastic group of lifelong friends that he's made at Elliott after transferring here in his sophomore year. He looks forward to starting graduate studies and in international relations in England. Raphael Ketsadisikis, computer science. Raphael's proudest achievement has been meeting great people and he looks forward to seeing them again soon. Annie Kim, anthropology. Annie's proud of how her time here at Harvard was centered around people, not things and is forever grateful for the way her friends and she committed themselves to joy and whimsy each day in the midst of everyday busyness. Irene E. Kim, philosophy. At Harvard, she gained meaningful friendships and companionship with the most wonderful individuals and she hopes to keep them in her life. Spencer Elliott Kim, neurobiology. Spencer's proudest achievement from his time at college was being part of the Elliott House community and in the years ahead, he will be staying in the Boston area and looks forward to seeing his Harvard friends again. James Jeb King, Computer Science. He's proud for having served WHRB, Harvard's radio broadcasting, as its general manager. Through the, though the line of sight in the years ahead is a bit hazy for him, he's looking forward to continuing to learn and securing employment as a software engineer. Jambe Kindley, computer science. He grew both academically and as a person, especially the things, culture, philosophy, that he learned from others through his conversations, most of them in the amazing Elliott Dining Hall. He's excited to try to put the things he's learned to use and hopefully make a positive impact on the world. Trevor Wade Ladner, Joint Concentrator in Sociology and African and African American Studies. Trevor's proudest achievement here at Harvard was his senior thesis titled Blackness on the Whiteboard, Teaching Race and Racism in Mississippi Social Studies Education. He's excited to continue his studies in the Harvard Graduate School of Education this summer, and he wants to begin teaching high school history in Boston this fall. Iona Letalopu, Letapulu, excuse me, Integrative Biology. She's most proud of her engagement in public service and looks forward to continuing her work with disadvantaged communities as a teacher. John Lavelle, Computer Science. He's proud of making a children's book with his friends and looks forward to attending his cousin's wedding and being reunited, reunited with friends one day. Ryan Lee, Computer Science. Ryan's proud of spreading the love by running Data Match and looks forward to, quote, building great things with great people. Christopher Wiley Lewis, Computer Science. Christopher is proud of making lifelong friends and is excited to create new memories going forward. Dara Wenza Lee, Molecular and Cellular Biology. Dara was proud to work as an EMT with Crimson EMS she helped employ 675 Harvard undergraduates as vice president of HSA, and she served as a loyal patron to the Border Cafe, Al Jefe's, and Capital One Cafe. After moving to New York to work in venture capital, Dara looks, to, looks forward to finding the best iced matcha latte in Manhattan. Gregory Eckstein Libson. Theater, Dance, and Media. He is most proud of writing, acting, and directing an original show for his senior thesis presentation. He's looking forward to the next time he sees his fellow Elliotites in person. Gabriella Lombardo, English. Lebrin Ma, Joint Concentration in Sociology and Statistics. Lebrin is looking forward to seeing what all his friends accomplish. Dunna Mahin, 
visual and environmental studies. Donna is proud of any meaningful companionship he was able to offer his friends, when he said, which he says made up the last four years the best years of his life. He looks forward to continuing to learn and watching how life unfolds. Avni Singh Marta, Electrical Engineering. Avni successfully set up new clubs at Harvard, including the British Club, the Photography Club, and taking the Bahrain team to new lengths. He looks ahead to building meaningful connections and communities wherever he goes, the same way Elliot did for him all these years. Eli Whitaker Martin, Integrative Biology. His proudest moments at Harvard were when he was able to arrange and conduct a piece with the Harvard Pops Orchestra. In the future, he wants to work in conservation and contribute to the betterment of the natural world. Ian Hudson McClellan, Social Studies. Ian is proud of his social studies thesis titled, Run for Your Life, Long Distance Running, Civic Life, and the Telos of Mar Marathon. Next year, he will be taking his passions for video making and running to Berlin. Hannah Golden McQuistian, Human Evolutionary Biology. Hannah is most proud of having the courage to study abroad in a country whose language she wasn't fluent, and she looks forward to moving to South America. Jacob McClellan, Neuroscience. Jacob's proudest achievement is scoring third at the Le Ivy League Track and Field Championship in the 400 meter hurdles and looks forward to working at a life sciences consulting firm in Boston. Charlotte Medway, Economics. Charlotte is looking forward to another semester on Zoom. Andrew Mersand, Mechanical Engineering. Andrew is proud of the freshman students that he brought into the Harvard College Engineering Society and wants to make people happy through his work in entertainment and technology, as well as helping the world by protecting our environment. Arjun Mirani, Joint Concentrator in Physics and Mathematics. Arjun is pleased to have approached Harvard with unbridled curiosity which led to unforgettable life experiences, friendships, and academic adventures. Arjun looks ahead to channeling the inspiration from these past four years into his endeavors in science and philosophy. Lucas Abbott Mitchell, Sociology. Lucas is looking forward to getting a rich husband and amending his will. Danu Maranaki. Art, Film, and Visual Studies. Danu discovered her key passions at Harvard and was able to commit wholeheartedly to their pursuit. She looks forward to attempting to translate these passions in professional settings by moving out to Los Angeles and writing and directing films while building a network of fellow creatives and change makers. Rachel Nadboy, History and Science. Rachel's very happy to have been able to zoom in to many of her interests at Harvard. She's also very grateful of the communities that she is part of, especially Elliott House. Teresa Nguyen, Computer Science. Teresa is proud of herself for trying new things and pushing her horizons and is looking forward to making a new place feel like home and maybe even getting a pet. Yuzachi Nuoko, Integrative Biology. In addition to co-captaining intramurals for Elliot, he's proud of resurrecting the Harvard College Green Medicine Initiative, which aims to promote sustainability in the medical field. He's looking forward to medical school and finding a community like Elliot. Ife Inwe Vivian Otgu, Economics. Ify is looking forward to research and working with the Boston Consulting Group, then eventually going to medical school. Christopher Frederick 
UNESTI, Applied Mathematics. Christopher ran the Applied Math Society and helped classmates with schoolwork and long-term goals. He's looking forward to applying knowledge to solving problems on the local and global scale. Tom Lee Osborne, Psychology. Tom is proud of graduating as he never imagined he'd graduate with a diploma from Harvard College, but here we are. Exciting for what the coming years have to offer. Hashtag decolonize the mind. Jonathan Peck, Sociology. Jonathan's proud of the communities and friendships he's made, which have challenged him to become a better and kinder person. He looks forward to continuing to learn and remain somewhat others can depend on. Nicholas Palladino, Economics. Nicholas is proud of his work on the criminal record sealing initiative he did with Harvard Legal Clinic and is looking forward to attending Harvard Law School. Grace Soe Pan, Social Studies. Grace says her time at Harvard made her less afraid to fail and fueled her with a sense of adventure. She's grateful for the friends she's made and looks forward to spending time with her family in Los Angeles before starting a, as a consultant at Oliver Wyman in Boston. Horace Preston Payne III, Economics. Chico's proudest achievement was his involvement in the House Committee, as well as the Small Claims Advisory Service and College Law Review. Jasmine Pereira, Visual and Environmental Studies. Gunnar Layton Plunkett, Computer Science. Gunnar is happy about the beautiful friendships he has cultivated here and looks forward to making a lot of wrong turns in the road ahead. Johnny General Powell, Chemistry. Johnny is proud of his work in the Harvard Bent Black Men's Forum and is excited to continue learning from and with different people from all over the world. Carolina Quintero Arias, Human Evolutionary Biology. Her proudest moment has been overcoming all of the obstacles thrown her way and being the first in her family to graduate college. Caitlin Rabinovitz, Social Studies. Caitlin organized a model Congress conference in Tokyo that brought together 500 students from all around the world to debate political issues. She looks to become a teacher and building relationships with the students in her classes. Emily Ruditha, Joint Concentrator in Neuroscience and Social Anthropology. MLA says she will remember the people who made it special, both supportive friends and inspiring thinkers. And she looks forward to all the relationships and ideas that she hopes to continue nurturing in the future. Naomi Rufal, Sociology. Naomi is proud of all the friends she learned here and the friendships. She's looking forward to dedicating her career to making education more equitable. Alexander Liang Ren, Neuroscience. Now more than ever, he's proud of having been able to work with compassionate, dedicated professionals in the healthcare industry. And he looks forward to joining these caretakers in combating disease in the clinic and in the lab. Thomas R. Renas, Neurobiology. Graduating is, is his proudest achievement, and he looks forward to working full time. William Matthew Renus, Neuroscience. He's proud also of graduating and looks forward to bringing the skills he learned at Harvard to the next steps in his life. Jesse Rodriguez, Government. Elizabeth Louise Rowe, Sociology. Elizabeth completed a senior thesis on Boston's opioid epidemic after a year of hard work while simultaneously competing on the Harvard Radcliffe heavyweight women's rowing team. She looks forward to a career in global health. Gulenay Rose Sadamat, Molecular and Cellular Biology. 
Goulinet is proud to have taken risks and given herself the chance to discover who she is in college and also for the lasting friendships and connections she's built here. She says that Elliot will always feel like a home to her. She'll attend med school at the University of Michigan in the fall, looks forward to living in Ann Arbor for it will be a new school, a new city, and a new state for her. Eliza Lena Sharfstein. She is grateful for the kind and inspiring people that she met throughout Harvard, including at Elliott, on her FRISME team and in the FOP community. She looks forward to continuing to laugh, learn, and adventure while working in health tech in San Francisco. Sophia Schreiber, Engineering Sciences. Sophia is grateful for the relationship she's built over her past four years here at Harvard. Eleanor Claire Shea, Social Studies. The most meaningful aspects of her Harvard experience have been her senior thesis, work with the Harvard Foundation and the friendship she's made. She looks forward to becoming a part of the broader Boston community and visiting her friends wherever they may be. Mahalat Demis Shifuro, joint concentrator in astrophysics and physics. Honestly, she's most proud of the friends and connections she's made along the way and she's really excited to do her Fulbright Fellowship in Germany and then pursue a PhD in physics at Stanford. Evan Simmons, Economics. Evan's proud of the friendships he's made during his time here and looks forward to seeing the impact of his classmates and what effect they'll have on the world. Jasmine Simpkis, Engineering Sciences. One of her proudest achievements was successfully building, coding, and calibrating a turbidity sensor for the com completion of her senior thesis. Water quality sensors for estuarine measurements, especially amidst the sudden move off of campus due to COVID-19. Matthew David Alexander Spence, Neuroscience. Matthew is proud of finding a balance between dedicating time to schoolwork in classes and to building relationships and lasting friendships. In the short term, he's excited to come back for whatever in-person celebrations they'll have. And in the long term, he really looks forward to getting started working in the healthcare field. Margo H. Steinberg, Psychology. Margo didn't arrive at Harvard the way most people did. She never lived in the yard, never ate in Annenberg, and never waited anxiously with fellow blockmates on housing day. Of course, over the course of her three years here, she discovered her academic passion, met lifelong friends, and learned from some of the most inspiring professors and mentors. While looking back on every experience with pride, entering this vast, intimidating community as one of only 12 transfer students into the college, she found her place, her purpose, and her people here, and that will always remain an achievement like none other to her. John Vincent Stone, Computer Science. John is proud of the amazing friends and connections he made in the past four years and looks forward to utilizing his liberal arts training to improve lives through technology in unexpected ways. Alexandra Eden Suma, History and Literature. Her proudest achievement from time here was when she completed her thesis. In the years ahead, she looks forward to pursuing her passions through the law. Dexter Alexander Summers, Integrative Biology. Dexter's looking forward to staying in this area and working on the fish collection while he applies to graduate school. Karis Tai, Sociology. Derek Marcellus Taylor, Computer Science. Derek's proudest achievement during his time here was touching the lives of so many people. In the years ahead, he looks forward to celebrating with his classmates as they go on to make a positive impact in the world. Ashab Udin Thakur, Chemistry and Physics. Ashab's proudest achievement is the set of healthcare policy proposals he wrote for various courses and programs, and they've been shared with the Massachusetts Legislature, the National Economic Council, and the White House. He looks forward to applying his Harvard education to drive innovation in healthcare and biotechnology. Tegan Thorley, Integrative Biology. Sarah Tisdale, Sociology. Sarah's proudest achievements have been making beautiful friends, beating Yale in rowing, completing her senior thesis, 
and she's looking forward to traveling the world and doing more rowing. Alexandra Todorovo, history. Michael Turkowitz, chemistry and physics. Michael looks forward to warmer weather and less homework. Luis Enrique Becerra, applied math. Luis is proud of having worked to foster a sense of community for soccer teams, freshman entryways, and model UN conferences. And he looks forward to continuing to learn beyond the classroom. Nathaniel Phillips Vincent, economics. Lucas Ward, government. Lucas is proud of reviving the Harvard Jiu-Jitsu Club, going to Brazil to get his blue belt, then this past year handing the club off to a freshman. He's also pleased to note that that freshman will now be an Elliot. Ian Webb, mechanical engineering. Ian's proud that he jumped off the high dive in Blodgett, tried out for polo twice, and went ice climbing in the Adirondacks. He looks forward to commissioning as a second lieutenant with the Marines after graduating. Hunter V. Wegner, economics. Hunter was able to meet a group of people who not only challenged him in many facets of life, but bettered him even more. Henry Patrick Welsh, economics. Henry's proud of the fact that he helped Harvard win back-to-back -back Ivy League championships his sophomore and junior seasons in basketball. He's most looking forward to moving to New York City where he'll begin a career in the business world. Georgia Wheeler, economics. Georgia is incredibly excited to begin her next adventure in life to explore more of the world and build some special relationships all along the way. Samantha A. White, Neuroscience. Samantha's proudest achievement was her involvement in prison mentoring and activism because it has shaped the way she views justice and how we can work to live in a just, free world. She wants to continue this work next year and then attend medical school to become a child psychiatrist. Natalie Sarah Whittles, Integrated Biology. Natalie says that graduating is her proudest achievement. From all the late nights to the early mornings, the meltdowns to the celebrations, she's had the privilege of learning from extraordinary professors and meeting some of the most inspiring people on earth. She might be leaving us today, but with her, she's taking all these values and lessons that Harvard has taught her. She looks forward to seeing where life takes everyone and getting back together. Nicholas Tyler, Wileville, Joint Concentrator in Sociology and African and African American Studies. Nick is beyond proud of his capstone senior thesis, but even more proud of the friendships he made along the way. He looks forward to seeing them again soon. Thomas Sin, Neuroscience. Thomas is proud of, seeing, of meeting his wife on a Harvard event, having a daughter while writing his thesis, and finding his passion for academic research. He looks forward to spending six years at Yale for a PhD and having hot breakfast for a change. Annabelle Yao, computer science. To be honest, Annabelle says that this moment is the one she's most proud of, managing to fly back from Colorado, pack frantically, and escape Boston within two days after receiving Larry Backow's email. But also, she feels she survived Harvard. Changi Yui, History and Literature. In the years ahead, she hopes to begin a new adventure in a new city, and hopes maybe as well to have one or two trusty dogs at her side. Molly Sarah Zim, History and Literature. Molly's proud of having successfully organized the largest student-run intercollegiate research conference and connected hundreds of student researchers across the globe while leading the Harvard Undergraduate Research Association. She's excited to start medical school in 2021 and pursue a career in maternal and child health. Alexander Zire Zhang, Joint Concentrator in Social Studies and East Asian Studies. He's proud of having done his best and he'll continue to do so for the rest of his life. Emily Chensi Zhu, Joint Concentrator in Sociology and Statistics. She's proud of having completed a senior thesis with her work on the PBHA Chinatown programs and ethnic studies. And finally, 
Valere Zunige Morales. Economics. Her proudest achievements are helping build a community for international students from Latin America, and she did this as president of the Harvard Organization for Latin America. She was helping to lead the 26th Democracy Conference, and in the years ahead, she looks forward to keeping in touch with the wonderful friends she's made here and working to promote sustainable development in her home of Nicaragua. And that completes our list of the wonderful Elliott graduates. Congratulations. Congratulations. Unforgettable. Unforgettable. Resilient. Generous. Fun. Smart. Gentle. Unstoppable. Oh. Open minded. Happy. Totally. Shady. Tenacious. Persistent. Passionate. Welcoming. Our, Our favorites. favorites! A true delight. Graduated! Graduated.